Hey guys, uh, Chris J here with Johnson Scripts, and today we'll be saving data to the Cloud Firestore uh, within Google Firebase. Um, so I have my console open uh, to a project, and um, on the left, we can see the Firestore database listed here. Um, by selecting it, it'll bring up the Cloud Firestore, and we can hit this button that says Create Database. Now, we're going to want to start in test mode, so you can test the functionality in your, of your app uh, with the Cloud Firestore before you put it into production. Hit Next. Uh, go ahead and hit Enable. And um, this takes a few seconds to provision. Um, and once that does, we can go ahead and uh, update the rules of the database and uh, create a collection. And then we can configure our app to uh, start saving data uh, within the Cloud Firestore database. Firestore is actually the newer database uh, on Google Firebase. Uh, the old one was real-time database. They're both great. Um, I prefer Firestore. Uh, it's just easier to use. So we're going to go into rules. And um, we're going to update this to say, allow read and write if true. Now, don't put your app into production this way. Um, this leaves it pretty open to um, data breaches. Uh, but for today's purposes, I will um, leave the rules that way so I can show you its functionality. Now, we're going to go ahead and start a collection. I'm going to call this collection users uh, because I'm storing uh, user input from my app. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, create an auto ID. Um, so this way, now for every document added, it will have its own uh, unique ID automated by Google. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And we can see our new collection here, users. And uh, we can see a document. There's nothing in it because we didn't store any data. Uh, but you can see how uh, the layout of this is. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the um, project that we made on the last video. And um, I've already done this um, for this database here. And then I can jump into my text editor. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is in our index, we're going to want to add the Firestore library. And we can do this by copying um, the analytics library import. Um, pasting it, and then just changing analytics to Firestore. Save that. And then we can jump into our script. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable called db. And that's going to be equal to uh, firebase.firestore. Now, uh, to give you a little bit of uh, idea of the functionality of the app, I'm pulling user data from this form, this uh, countdown form here. You can see document, get an element by ID, countdown form. Uh, if we take a look at it in index, we can see that um, the input uh, for title, um, that's for the goal, and then email, uh, email. So that's the data I'm trying to store in Firebase. Um, currently, I have uh, variables for both uh, countdown title and countdown email as empty strings. And then if I go down a, a little bit here, uh, you can see I'm storing them locally right now. Um, so saves countdown um, is stored locally. What we're going to want to do is uh, create an event listener. So I'm going to scroll down to my event listeners here and uh, countdown form uh, add event listener. It's going to uh, be triggered by the submit button. And um, I'm going to call it an event. I'm going to put that as E, uh, fat arrow function. And the first thing I'm going to do here is. Uh, prevent default uh, because I don't want my app um, relating back to its uh, initial state of zero data uh, while I'm doing this. Then I'm going to uh, use our variable that we created db uh, dot 
collection, and I'm going to refer to the user's collection that we created. Now, then I'm going to add an object, and that object is going to contain the title, which will be equal to uh, countdown title. And uh, email, which will be equal to on email. And save that. Now we can go ahead and uh, deploy this. Well, I have it running in Firebase Serve, so let's take a look at that. Before I deploy, I always like to take a look and um, let's see how this is functioning within this uh, local host environment. So I refresh it after I save it. Uh, goal is going to test. Email is going to test at gmail.com and run that. Okay, uh, it's functioning. Let's take a look at the Firestore. And look, we have a new uh, document here. And that is our input data. So we can see that um, the data is being saved in the Cloud Firestore. Um, now you simply can just go and uh, redeploy your app and, um, and you'll be storing uh, data from the location where your uh, web app is uh, being hosted. All right, um, next video, I'll show you guys how to add timestamps um, so you can uh, get a better idea of when this data is being saved into Cloud Firestore. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Have a great day.